it's so easy to become complacent when you do it every morning like I was doing and you never had any problems and then you think you never will and then you do and then it's too late and that was the problem the morning of my accident it was the beginning of March in 2010 last year and it was calving time so the cows were all in the sheds as normal and I would have gone out as normal at about 8 o'clock to check cows and a cow took exception to my being maybe trying to tag the calf or I was too close to the calf we just don't know um, and basically just shoved me against the wall and I cracked the back of my skull on the wall. Somehow got out of the shed and managed to come back to the house. Unfortunately, Sosha, our daughter who was six at the time, came downstairs and she found me on the floor lying in a pool of blood and she went upstairs anyway to get Ali and Ali came down and at this stage I think Sosha was hysterical because she thought I was dead and she thought I was gone. I disappeared for essentially four months and that was very very hard on Ali and the kids. Ali had to learn to run a farm, basically, along with the house and the children and me being in hospital and even when I came home then having to look after me quite a lot. It was a lot of work for her and it was stressful and traumatic still. Emotionally, after a head injury, it's really not a good place. My emotions would be all over the place. I might, when I came home, I might have burst into tears for no apparent reason. And it was like that for, for a few months. I know Ali was scared to leave me on my own in the house. And maybe she didn't know what's what I would do, what state I would be in when she came home. And it made life very hard. I lost my independence. I was dependent on Ali or Mick or someone with the farm. We were lucky that we had Mick who was able to work full time. But that of course, it's very expensive when you're paying someone full time. It was not as serious as it could have been because I had insurance. Financially, the farm was beginning to look a bit sad. And there really wasn't much money left in the account by that time. This spring gone, we did make a few changes and made things a lot safer so that it was less necessary to be in the shed with the calf and the cow together that it is possible now to kind of separate. If I was to think back to before the accident, if I was to say something to myself back then, I would have to say it's worth maybe putting in another gate now and not waiting until Maybe you've survived a coma and maybe you haven't. Just to make it as safe as I can so that it doesn't happen again. Because it could happen again and I might not be so lucky. <laughs>